Hi, so with the Add Macros to Ribbon, uh, my customer requested me to create this macros that will take each header and remove all spacing between the text. So in this case, obviously this one does already have all the spacing removed. You go to February, there you go. It's because I played around before. March, there we go. March has spacing in it. April also has spacing in it. So what I've done is to create a macros that uh, does the required work by a user form um, and then also to consolidate. So I'm just going to do up to April because you'll see May and June does not have any information. So consolidating would be first create all the headers similar to this one, then consolidate each tab's information into one new file. And how I did that was take macros. Now you'll see I've added a new ribbon at the top here. Okay, that one's just for another customer. But this one, you see format editors and consolidate export and save. So in this case, the, the, the reason for using this is that when you open the file, this is a normal XLSX file, the normal Excel file, not macros uh, enabled at all. And what's nice is that you would put this in your Excel and therefore you can just open a normal one and do the required function um, routine work. So let's say, in this case, click Format Headers. Um, excuse me, Format Headers. Uh, what this macros first does is it looks through the sheet and picks up all the sheets. So there you go. I've created a situation where you can go up to 24 sheets. So here it goes and tells you, okay, all this is available. Which ones would you like to reformat your headers with? So either all sheets, or in this case, I'm just going to go up to April, Reformat Headers. And there you go, it says headers in all sheets chosen has been reformatted. Now let's have a look. So, okay, we knew Jan and Feb already was done. If you look at March, now you see March doesn't have any spacing as well as April doesn't have any spacing. Um, now we want to consolidate this information. So in Jan, we have one row. I just put in some detail calling ones. February is two. March 3 and A, April 5, so let's consolidate. Now you can say consolidate and export again. Which one would you like it to be? So here, because I know it's the four um, tabs that I want to consolidate, uh, what also happens is because they've got standard um, naming of their file after it's been exported. This is the list that I've added to that. So maybe you, in this case, let's just call it test two now. And if I say consolidate, select the tabs, it brings it all together, and there you go. Um, if it can't find the folder where I've pre um, indicated where it needs to be saved, it will tell you you can't save it, but it has been created. So here you go. It's been consolidated. There's one, two, three, A, four, five as it has consolidated. So yes, I can do something similar. Um, the focus of this is not really on the specific um, function or daily routine work here, but the fact that any macros that you require can be added to your ribbon here and then allows you to open a lot more files without having to create or recreate them in a macros enabled file. Thanks for listening and I look forward to any other projects you have for me.